Now see this. An isosceles triangle ABC is right angle at B. D is a point inside the triangle ABC. P and Q are the feet of the perpendiculars drawn from D on side AB and AC respectively of triangle ABC. Now if AP is equal to A centimeter, AQ is equal to B centimeter and angle BAD is 15, uh, then we have to find out the value of sine 75 degree. Now though the value of sine 75 degree is a constant, but here we have to find the value of sine 75 degree in terms of A and B, right? So what I do is I draw this triangle first of all. So this is a triangle that is an isosceles triangle that means perpendicular and base both of them are having the same length. Right now from a point D inside I drop a perpendicular over here and here okay I join the line this okay now what is happening this is A and it is right angle at B so this is B and this is C right now these are the foot of perpendicular this is point D right now it is given that angle BAD is 15 BAD that means this angle is 15 degree now what see this is 90 this is 15 that means this angle must be 75 degree okay now this length AP and AQ AP is given to be A and AQ is given to be B right now what see this uh, 90 degree this uh, uh, since AB is equal to AC that means C must be 45 degree and this complete angle must be 45 degree. So if PAD is 15 or BAD is 15 that means this remaining part will be 30 degree. Right. Now what uh, since we have to find out the value of sine 75 degree. Now look at this triangle APD. So from here sine 75 degree will be what? Perpendicular by hypotenuse. So perpendicular is AP that is A and hypotenuse is AD. Now AD is unknown length, so we have to find out AD in terms of B. So from that, uh, from this triangle, that can be done. Now from this triangle, we can see this is angle 30 degree and relationship between base that is AQ or B and hypotenuse is given by cos theta, right? So cos 30 degree that is uh, root 3 by 2 is equal to B by AD. Okay, so AD is what? 2b by root 3, I put up the value over here, AD is 2b by root 3, right? So what is sine 75? A root 3 by 2b, okay? A root 3 by 2b, as simple as that, okay? So almost all problems of uh, this paper we have solved and I'm sure you are able to do the problems now and uh, your concepts will be cleared now. In fact, your concepts are clear now. So... All the best.